Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. Since the release of the Taken King, how we earn strange coins has changed dramatically. You can get them from faction packages, from random rewards, uh, from opening chests, from Prison of Elders, from Nightfall rewards, and all kinds of other different methods. So we're going to take a look in this video at every single way that you can get a strange coin in this game. So uh, the first thing that we're going to talk about is ranking up your factions. Now these right here are the factions that do not give you strange coins. This includes Crota's Bane, Varix at House of Judgment, and the Queen's Wrath. You can still rank these up. They can still give you some decent rewards if you're into what type of rewards they give you, but these are not going to give you strange coins or motes of light. Another method that you can use is what you see right here. I'm currently doing a secret patrol mission. You get these by doing somewhere between 3 and 10 patrol missions without returning to orbit, and then all of a sudden your ghost gets a secret little message. So let's take a look now at the factions that will give you strange coins. This includes Iron Banner, rank 3 and 5, the Crucible, the Vanguard, all three of your factions, Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, Future War Cult, as well as the Cryptarch and the Gunsmith. Every single one of these factions is guaranteed to give you four motes of light and four strange coins. These are very easy to rank up, especially Crucible and Vanguard. I had a brain fart there for a second. All you have to do is pop a reputation booster, go to town, and boom, you get your strange coins. Uh, another really easy one to do there is the gunsmith. Um, if you do all the gunsmith weapon bounties every week, then pretty much every other week you will rank up the gunsmith. And since they released the April update, he gives you 330 weapons. So, I mean, why not go for it? Why not do it? The gunsmith gives you some really, really good weapons. So uh, those are the guaranteed, so to speak, strange coins. So now we're going to take a look at some of the random strange coins that you can get within the game of Destiny. These are not guaranteed, but if you do get them, you can make a ton of strange coins in a very short amount of time. So these include, go ahead and taking a look, turning in bounties. Turning in bounties has a chance to turn one of your bounties into a strange coin. So do turning in blue ingrams at the Crypt Ark. These can also turn into a strange coin for some reason. Another method is by opening random chests while in patrol. You can see here I actually landed four of them, which is highly unlikely. Uh, you can also get them as an aftermatch reward from completing any of the Vanguard strikes, as well as an aftermatch reward from completing any Crucible game mode. Uh, this is actually a very effective method. And if you're lucky, when completing a Nightfall, you can land up to 19 strange coins from completing a Nightfall. 19 is the most that I have seen in this game so far. Now, all of those that you just watched are not guaranteed by any means, but they are viable methods if you're trying to farm for strange coins. Zer's in town, you're really short, jump into some heroic strikes, jump into some crucible, go bust open some patrol missions, or go bust open some patrol chests, do some patrol missions on the Dreadnought, get one of these secret missions that uh, I believe gives you two or three strange coins. We'll see at the end of the video. But these are all ways that you can get strange coins. So now we're gonna take a look at my favorite method for obtaining strange coins, and that is the Prison of Elders. Not the level 41, not the level 42, but the old school level 28. Opening the two side chests and the big chest in the middle typically gives you between three and five strange coins. And you can do this as many times as you want, guys. You can just sit there and farm the living hell out of this. For a while, this is how I got all of my strange coins. Now, I don't really do Prison of Elders because I have so many of them built up. That's all I need. So, definitely jump into some Prison of Elders. It takes you 20 minutes. It's super easy. You don't have to be a high light level to do it. And as I said, you can get between three and five strange coins out of each one of these little chests and the big chest combined. So it's definitely worth the grind, even more so if you enjoy Prison of Elders. So basically what we're thinking about here is there's, there's so many different avenues to get strange coins. There's not really one activity that you need to just grind over and over and over. Like I said, if you're desperate, Zer's in town, he's got something that you really want, then go pick one of these activities and just grind the living hell out of it. If you have a little bit of strange coins, you just want a few more, then honestly, man, just go play the game. Rank up your factions, go do some PoE, go do some Crucible, some Vanguard Heroics. You're going to get plenty of strange coins in a very small, or very small amount of time. But uh, anyway, guys, the last thing that I'm going to leave you with is what you should be spending your strange coins on. 
with the addition of three coins in the Taken King and having bosses drop exotic Ingrams, I have not purchased an exotic weapon or armor directly from Xur since the release of the Taken King. I just buy three of coins every single week. I put all my strange coins into it, and that's it. I just I wait for my weapons and armor to drop through Ingrams. They drop really quickly if you do a lot of strikes. Uh, you can also go and do the Chamber of Knights or the Shrine of Oryx and the Eye of the Gate Lord. Just alternate those two about every five minutes in between. Kill those two bosses. You can farm the living hell out of some exotic Ingrams. And that's even more valuable now that exotics have a chance to drop all the way up to 335. So anyway, guys, uh, using these methods, if you just do this every week, I mean, I usually average about 100 strange coins a week just by playing the game, just by leveling up my factions, throwing in some PoE here and there. You know, I don't really do much of these these uh, secret bounties, but these are guaranteed strange coins if you're into patrols. So uh, drop a comment in the box below. Stick around if you want to see how many strange coins you get from one of these secret bounties. you only got a few seconds left. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the commentary off here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Fascinating.